too. Well, finally, she's become one of Yorkshire's greatest sporting heroes, and this weekend, Nicola Adams is at last getting the chance to box in front of fans in her home city of Leeds. Tonight, though, the double Olympic champion is joining another of our champion boxers, Josh Warrington, for a public walkout workout at Trinity Leeds Shopping Centre. Our own super flyweight, David Hurst, is there <laughs> for us. Not funny, John. <laughs> Yes, it's become very fashionable, hasn't it, for uh, boxers to have public workouts in shopping centres. Kel Brook does it a lot down at Meadow Hall in Sheffield. And here we are, 40 miles up the road in Leeds at Trinity. And the two stars of Saturday's show, Nicola Adams and Josh Warrington. Nicola, let me start with you. 20 years since you last boxed in Leeds. Let me remind you, to a working men's club. How things have changed? Yeah, things have changed a lot now. I'll be boxing Saturday night in the uh, first direct arena. What do you remember about those days? Nobody would have known you then. Yeah, no, I just remember the smoke-filled room. Uh, you were allowed to smoke then as well, so it was uh, it was tough tough going on the boxes. And how are you looking forward to uh, Saturday night? Who's going to be there for you? Oh, I'm really excited about Saturday night. My friends, my family's going to be there, all the supporters from Leeds. It's going to be an amazing night. And Josh, you know, local lads, Leeds United supporter, dare I say it. Yes. There'll be a lot of people there for you on Saturday night. Another step towards the world title? 100%. I mean, uh, it's been uh, 10 months since we've been at Arena. Obviously, it's always packed at rafters, plenty of noise. Good to have another local face on like Nicola. And yeah, for my fight, it's uh, get through this one when we're talking uh, world honours. You're both very proud of your roots. A lot of people have turned out here tonight for you. Are you surprised? Yeah, I think the Leeds uh, get, they get behind their own, you know. Obviously, we're two locals. We started off in the same boxing gym, and uh, these people want to come and, uh, and show their support, and obviously, it shows that in numbers. And Nicola, you, I mean, you spend a lot of time training in San Francisco these days. Uh, yeah, I bet yeah. it's good to come back, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's nice to be back. Um, it's even a little bit sunny today as well, which is a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite San Francisco, but it's, it's, it's all right. Uh, Josh, uh, well, you know, training going well, um, you can't underestimate this opponent. No, not all. I mean, I've been training more or less since January. I've uh, I've been eating, sleeping, and, uh, and drinking Kiko Martinez. I really have. Uh, he, he's been a world champion before, and he's going to bring his toughest test. And, and for me, he's, he's, I'm treating him like a mini Mike Tyson. I'm really prepared like that, but um, I'm ready for him. I can't wait to, to get him ring on Saturday and see what he's got. And Nicola, quickly, younger opponent, but fingers crossed. Yeah, I'll do the job. Yeah, yeah, no, you're very, <laughs> cool, you're very confident. Well, good luck to, to the both of you. All, all the best. Thank you. Uh, and if you want uh, tickets to see them on Saturday, there's still a few left. Get in there quick. Thank you very much, David Hurst. <laughs> Our heavyweight. Well, not uh, flyweight. Finally, finally. For Yorkshire boxing star Nicola Adams this Saturday when she fights in her home city of Leeds for the first time since turning professional. Yes, the double Olympic champion will fight at the Leeds Arena where the headline act will be another home favourite, Josh Warrington. They're both warming up in the public tonight, with the public tonight, at Leeds Trinity Shopping Centre. And Paul Ogden is there for us. Quick, Paul, hide those shopping bags. <laughs> All sorts of temptations here, I'll tell you that, Amy, to shop, but also to meet some very accessible, wonderful ambassadors for their sport, boxing I'm talking about, of course. That is the magnificent physique belonging to Josh Warrington, our international defending featherweight champion, who's top of the bill in front of his home crowd at Leeds Arena on Saturday night. And on the undercard, believe it or not, the Nicola Adams, double Olympic champion. She's just left the ring here for her warm-up. She did, though, take time to talk to us on Up North a short time ago. Well, Nicola, there's such a lot of love for you. A lot of people want your autograph. A lot of excitement about you being back in your hometown. Settle an argument, first of all, because we've been arguing about the last time you boxed in Leeds. Yeah. How long? Yeah, it's ooh, 20 years. It's a long time, 13 years old, first fight. Um, it was amazing then, and now I'm coming back as a professional debut. Leads, it's going to be good. I can't wait. And I don't think your public can wait either. Yeah. How does that feel when you come home and get that kind of greeting? Oh, it's 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 really special and it's really humbling for me as well. And it's an honour to be thought of so highly to, about um, from everybody. And I'm just glad that I have their support. You know, I think you get support from a lot further than Yorkshire because you're doing a lot for women's boxing, yeah. for the sport generally. How conscious of that are you when you you go about your trade? Um, quite conscious. Um, I know that I'm inspiring a lot of lot of the younger generation to get involved in sport and to get involved in boxing. And hey, we need someone winning some gold medals now. I've left the amateur game. I, I can't help wondering whether you should be top of the bill. Although Josh Warrington would probably give me a thump if I said that to him. Oh, I know. Yeah, no, I'm I'm, I'm happy that uh, Josh is top of the bill. It's nice to see that um, there's somebody else from Leeds doing really well um, in boxing. The one thing I want to talk about, particularly from a boxing point of view, is these longer rounds. 
you're doing something for the sport, three minute rounds instead of the two minutes. Tell us about why you want to take that on. Yeah, um, I found when I boxed um, the two minute rounds, it just wasn't long enough. Um, you didn't have enough time to plant your feet and, and look for shots, take your time, um, where, whereas you can in the three minute rounds. And if your opponent's, say, holding for maybe 15 to 20 seconds before the ref breaks it up, in a two-minute round, that's almost all the round done. So now with the three-minute rounds, I'll have a lot more time to compose myself and it won't be as much of a, a rush to, to get things done. But the rest of the boxing world is saying, wait a minute, you're making us work even harder. This could be <laughs> trailblazing for the rest of the sport. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we need the three-minute rounds. It needs to be the same as, as the, the, the guys' professional boxing. It's exactly that you do it. They do exactly the same in the UFC. The men and the women do exactly the same amount of rounds. They wear exactly the same size gloves. So, you know, we, wanna, we want to be com competitive. And, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping I can pave the way and, and change things. I think you're doing that in so many ways. Welcome home from all of us. Thank and you. enjoy your time in Leeds. Fighting in front of your home crowd. We can't wait either. Thank you. Well, the best of luck to Nicola Adams with a second professional fight in front of a home crowd. Here is a young lady by the name of Erin, who I think might have a boxing career in front of her in future. And Erin, you actually met Nicola Adams. What was it like for you earlier when she arrived? It was absolutely amazing because um, it's amazing to meet a woman boxer that's so amazing in the ring. Do you think she might inspire you? Yes, definitely, yeah. You really want to box in future, isn't it a bit dangerous? No, not really. It's just fun, so... She makes it look easy, doesn't she? W weren't you shy, or was she shy of meeting you? I wasn't shy, but I think she might have been a little bit shy of meeting me. But, That's the, yeah. the wonderful thing about Nicola Adams, that she's so proud here and so modest to be appearing in front of her home crowd. It should be a real good night with, of course, Josh Warrington at the top of the bill on Saturday night at Leeds Arena. Back to you. Thanks, Oggy. <laughs> Good turnout there as well. Great, yeah. Good luck to Josh as well. He's yeah. a real crowd puller, is our Josh. He is.